Hi, this is Bucky with Transit and Level Clinic, and today we will be performing a localization, also known as a site calibration or transformation, in Leica Geosystems Icon Field 7.0. In GPS terms, localization is the mathematical process used to relate local grid coordinates to the GPS Earth centered, Earth fixed ellipsoidal datum. The actual process involves collecting control points with coordinates in each system and allowing the software to calculate transformation parameters between the two systems. So to start, we're going to start in our home screen for Leica Icon. We're going to make sure that our device is turned on and connected. We'll go into device profiles. We'll select our GPS system, allow it to connect, and then we will go into our coordinate system. Coordinate system for ICON is where we're going to handle all of our localizations or site calibrations, depending on what you call them. So we're going to create a new localization. Now we have a couple different options here. We have a small area and a large area. A small area is going to be what we use the majority of the time, and that's what we'll focus on today. We will go from setup anywhere. As you can see, we have a simulated job and we have four control points around the outside of the job. It's imperative that we make sure that when we're working with a site calibration, that our control points are on the outside of the site so that everything inside conforms as it should. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select our first control point. This one is going to be point number six and we're going to measure it with our GPS. Now before we measure, we do want to make sure that our GPS here in the top left hand corner is in a fixed position and that we're ready to actually take a good shot. So we've selected point number six, we're going to measure. We've taken that shot and we're ready to go to our next point. Now when you're doing a site calibration, you can do a one point localization. However, in order to get a good vertical and a good horizontal residual value, you will need to do at least four points. In this case, we will be doing four points. So we're going to go to point seven now, measure, point eight, measure, and point five for our last point and measure. Now here at the bottom of Leica icon, we do have a couple different options. We can hit the red X to cancel out of this particular localization. We can hit our green ribbon, which would show us our residuals, how close we actually were to the coordinates that we were taking, or we can accept the localization using the green check. Now, if you don't see the green check, it typically means that any of your residuals that you can find in the uh, green ribbon here did not meet the tolerance that you set under units in the base menu of Leica icon field. We can go in to check this by simply clicking on the green arrow and we can see in this case that our residuals are out quite a bit. This is due to the simulator that I'm using at the current time. However, if this were a normal job, we would be within our residuals. We would hit the green check. We would hit the green check again. And at this point, it would tell us that everything has been localized and allow us to go in and rename our file. That file could be used for later it can also be used to transfer over to other GPS systems that might be on the uh, same job. Thank you guys for joining us today. For answers to most of your questions, please visit our support knowledge base at www.transitandlevel.com or feel free to contact us at 1-800-301-5713.